Hello and welcome back to the fuel tank of the Massey Ferguson tractor. It, as all fuel tanks of this age, is likely to have some rust. And we can see that we do have a nice coating inside. I have already washed it out with some water, not much of a difference. I did scrape at it, it's, the layer is not that thick, but we do need to remove this. So I'm going to do this with electrolysis. We're going to mix some carbonate of soda with this water with the water and pour it in. I've already got an anode ready, a piece of steel, one without rust, and into this cap that should secure it some holes in the cap so that it can breathe. That fits over this hole. The other holes I got blocked off. Luckily, there's the inlets. And the return line is the same as a Briggs and Stratton bolt that holds the blade carrier on, so I was lucky there. And then the main fuel tub bolt is the same size as a Volkswagen Touran drive shaft uh, securing bolt, so lucky with that too. So we'll probably connect to here because this is threaded into the tank, it's got a good. I hope good, hopefully good metal connection, so that should work. And then the other battery cable will go to there. But see if the battery charger will do it. Otherwise, I do have a battery as well. So I think first thing to do is fill this tank up. Hopefully, none of the bolts will leak as I'm blocking it. But hopefully, uh, it works out. And it won't collapse on me. All right, the carbonated sodium carbonated water is inside. So it's not sodium bicarbonate, just carbonate or soda crystals. And right now we can set this up, make sure this anode is not touching any side of the tank and connect the battery charger and hope for the best. All right, so everything's set up, positive to the anode, negative to the bolt, which is connected to the tank. Well, I'm already hearing a bit of fizzing, so I think it's working. So here's the setup. It's leaning on the bolt in the corner, leaning on the piece of wood over there. And then here it's also leaning on the stack of wood. So it's pretty level. Tape is there just to hold everything in place. Masking tape because it releases from the paint easily. To the cap, the anode is taped with some duct tape, so it doesn't move. It seems pretty tight. Now it's just a matter of leaving it in place. 24 hours and having a look. After 24 hours, if it's still rusty, you can give it another go. Clean off the anode, everything. You could add a new solution as well, but you can also filter out the old solution like that. So I'm using the battery charger. All right, so it's the next day, not quite 24 hours, but more like 20 and a half hours. Let's see if it's made any difference. Already disconnected the battery charger. Let's see. Well, we can see that this is looking quite a bit more rusty than what it was when it went in. The water is also looking quite rusty, so I think it's doing its thing. So I'll clean off this anode. All right, here's the 41 hour update. I already removed that. Here's the anode. You can see it's quite pitted now and there's not really a lot of rust on it like it was the first time, so I think the rust coating was quite low. Hopefully everything has come off, at least the most of it. Now I just need to drain the tank out, wash it all out. And then you should probably officially put a sealer in it, but it will be running di a diesel in any case. So the diesel will act as the rust protector. And I will want to put it straight away directly onto the tractor, fit the fuel tap. 
and the lines and then we can put in diesel and it's automatic rust protector you can also put some oil in it some people use wd-40 two-stroke oil something like that all right so here's the inside of the tank as you can see the rust is a lot less all of that gunk is actually loose off of the bottom you just need to see if we can put some water in it and rinse it out all fully i've scratched that it and the debris is loose but obviously we don't want to leave that debris in there because it will block the fuel filter so see what we can do to flush it out maybe the pressure washer just some water maybe the vinegar will do all right after numerous flushes this is what we're left with is it perfect no is it better than what we had when we started definitely and this is good enough for me any of the fine particulates will be caught up in the fuel filter i've given it now i think five flushes i have to put a bit of vinegar in there but this is quite a difficult tank to get things out it's very flat goes far quite a bit to the right the opening then to drain out is quite small the fuel filter opening does drain well but even that is quite small so large pieces can get left behind we can see that even in that corner we do still have a bit but i don't know i'll let you be the judge i do see that it is better and you're thinking maybe put some pebbles in and shake that out could be an option but may be quite difficult to then get all of the stones back out through again this small hole being quite an awkwardly shaped tank we do have a fuel line as well that is inside the tank that goes to the bottom over here there's a fuel inlet outlet and it does go inside with a fuel line so another thing where pebbles can get trapped behind what I can still do, so I'll put in a bit of diesel, shake it all up, and then see if that removes anything. And it will also leave behind an oily coating, preventing any further rust whilst I reassemble everything. So I hope you found that helpful as a possibility. We'll also need some good drying out. Did not damage the paintwork, so that's all good. And let's go on. Thanks for watching.